We are in New Orleans, Louisiana. Welcome to the Terror Dome. I got so much trouble on my mind. Uh, you know, Grim, I love coming to the big sleazy. Some beignets, beads, Dixieland, and a serpent, and a rainbow. <laughs> it really helps me relax. Show me your tits. Uh, save that for the Mutants Gone Wild taping after the game, huh, Junior? Whatever. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Carolina Panthers battle. The New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fries the concessions. They said how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. The 30. The 20. Oh, good run. He nearly broke. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the cute. And then unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's Drive Thru Funeral Parlor Service. Look at it just off the Beltway exit five. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. says who's next the ref calls a penalty you know the mfl has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties stupid jerks you guys suck
And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. It's a good interception. What's that, Grim? A fabulous interception. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. First down and three. And he laterals the ball. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second and three. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must... Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8, the greatest hits.
tits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Where? <laughs> Has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. <laughs> At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Oh, and he boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. First and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Two. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> First down and one. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. That's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears. He's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. He's into it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. First down. And it's first and ten. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. 
Yeah, I've had it. I'm running. Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. a run for no gain. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Man, I thought they snags. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's rumbling and holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Oh, man, he really wants it. Second down in a very lot. Ah, another interception. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Bombs away. The defense has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. Second down and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. He broke free. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, holy Montezuma 
his revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Okay, Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Point. And a well-placed cleat. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the after. But man, what a hit that was. It's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. You need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Timeout to stop the clock. Second down in a lot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have looked. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all Graham? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. What it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, what a brutal hit! Third down and nine. 
Cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. And that's the end of the second quarter. Some of them will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, they both wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size, because he just walked all over him. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And a... What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. First and ten. the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting.
And it's first and ten. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And like bricks his balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And they run it in for two points. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Wasted a good explosive. Second down and ten. Boom! And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, still working on my slimy here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And he's off to the races. Here comes the defense. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Four. 
And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wow! Well And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and two. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and two. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third and two. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw intercept. He could go all the way. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And that'll be second down and four. Perfect pass and a score! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's off to the races. Look at that little The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first to ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. 
I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, with the punishing hit. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. First and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. nothing out of it third down and the QB is saying his prayers he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage so is that cheerleader and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is in palm grim. The cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. That hit's gonna shave a few days off his lot. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. <laughs> and this is a first and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Does the QB know which team he's on? That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. point attempt it's good they're 
looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Kaboom! And the quarterback goes. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Down and the punter's warming up. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pop the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback... Holy crap! He missed time the spikes and ends up dead. Life is... Sweet, man. Loneliness, suffering. And then it's over much too soon. It was total carnage today, folks. A gruesome and bloody mess with a high death toll. And the hometown fans love it. <laughs> Way to go, guys. The New Orleans Zombies win by forfeit. I'm traumatized, Grim. I don't think I'll ever be able to eat spaghetti out again. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Dad, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.